The death of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is setting up a big fight on Capitol Hill. Of course, the big question, who should be her replacement? As Deborah Alfaron reports, it's thrown a new wrinkle into the presidential election. President Trump says he'll name a Supreme Court replacement for the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg this week. We will have probably services on Thursday or Friday. As I understand it, I think, you know, the respect we should wait till the services are over mm -hmm. for Justice Ginsburg. And uh, so we're looking probably at Friday or maybe Saturday. CBS News has learned two of the top contenders are U.S. Court of Appeals judges Amy Coney Barrett and Barbara Lagoa. Senate Republicans say they will move swiftly to vote on the nominee. The president was elected to do this and the Senate was elected to confirm th th this nomination. But Democrats point to 2016 when Republicans blocked President Obama's Supreme Court nominee Merrick Garland with eight months until the election. They made it very clear that if this happens in an election year, that whoever wins the election should be able to decide who the Supreme Court justice is. The people choose the president. The president chooses the nominee. The fight over Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat on the high court has shaken up the presidential election and energized the base on both sides. <laughs> Fill that seat has become a rallying cry on the right. And the Trump campaign is even selling T-shirts with the slogan. That's what we're going to do. We're going to fill the seat. If I win this election, President Trump's nominee should be withdrawn. As a new president, I should be the one who nominates Justice Ginsburg's successor. Democrats have raised more than $100 million since news of Ginsburg's death broke Friday night. Deborah Alferone, CBS News, the White House.